This is a red panda. And this is a white panda. And both like and eat bamboo. I flew to Manchester for Smurf 2024. And you know, I saw some cool tech like backpack 3D printers, upside down 3D printers, and also some amazing stuff from Big Tree Tech. Let's dive right in. So we are at Smurf 2024 together with Luke. Luke, and we are going to talk about a panda in the room, right? <laughs> Apparently we are, yeah. So we've got the Panda series, which is a series of um, accessories, upgrades for the Bamboo Ranger printers. Let me just take you through them, right? We've got the Panda Touch, which is a really cool little screen. You can see it in action over here. It gives you that nice sort of premium touchscreen feel on the P1 and the P1S series machines. It connects to the machine via Wi-Fi. You can plug it in to give it power using the existing USB port on the machine. So that just feeds, there's that USB port on the inside over here. Yeah, and it feeds through. So you get some really cool functions over it. You can control up to 10 machines. The, the new firmware that we released will give you nice thumbnail previews of what you're printing. Yeah, start the prints from here. You can browse a USB stick to see what prints you've got on there and start them on more than one printer. Or, or you can start prints directly from the machines based on what they have inside their internal memory. Really, really cool little product. And what's more is we're really improving it with each firmware update that comes out. We're listening to the customer's feedback and what they want. So you'll notice there's been about four or five firmware updates through the year. And we're just kind Constantly adding more and more features to it. So you're buying something that's just getting better with time. Really love this little product. We have got this over here, which is really cool. Have a look at that. Look at that print going on. So that is our cryo grip build plate. And feel that and tell me if it's hot or not. It's cold. Why is it cold? Have a look at the temp that it's printing at. One degree is what we've set it to. So there is zero heat on here. And look at what it's printing. It's pretty nuts, right? Whoa, that's impossible. You would think. And yet here we are. And yet here we are. So that's our cry grip. This is the Frostbite. It supports PLA and PETG. Unofficially, I can say that I personally have tried it with a couple of blends of ABS and ASA and I've had really good results. We don't advertise it as supporting that because there are some blends that may leave a mark on it, but definitely PLA and PETG. And you can see zero heat for PLA on crazy prints like this. And uh, PETG, low heat low heat, don't need the, the normal petchy temps, and it just sticks like crazy. It's a really, really wonderful ball plate. Saves you power. Another really cool feature that we didn't really think about marketing, but people wrote back to us and said they appreciated. If you get a power loss, PEI is gonna release your print, and your print's gonna fail. With this, you don't need heat. So your print doesn't release. You're all good. It just. I see a lot of manufacturers advertising with, you know, power loss recovery. But if you have a glass bed or a PEI really seat, so. in most cases, those prints will pop off. And yeah. If, yeah. if the power loss is longer than half an hour, you're done. We kind of, yeah, our customers were writing to us and being like, you just saved a three day print because we had a power loss three days in and we just were able to hit resume and carry on going. So really cool application for that. Nice little bed over there. There is the Cryogrip Glacier as well, which is over here. So this is the frostbite that we're looking at on the machine. We've also got the Glacier and this will do a ton of filaments, nylon, ABS, ASA, polycarbonate. So that's sort of your broader spectrum of filaments. Slightly less adhesion than the frost, frostbite, but definitely more than your standard PER plate and a far broader filament range. So wonderful plates. And what's more is these are actually coming out for a bunch of other machines now as well. So boron sizes, they're gonna all be out in about a week or two from now. Really cool little product. This guy over here, that is the Panda Nomi that fits onto the front plate of an A1. And uh, it gives you status updates about your machine, but it allows you to customize what's going on there. So uh, you can put your own GIF as a graphic while it's busy printing, whatever you want, you know, I don't know, whatever sort of GIF you want to put on your machine, you can put that there. Really cool little product. The Panda Extruder is a beautiful little CNC lightweight extruder replacement for your P1 or X1. Cool because you can get in there without opening it up and clear out debris and dust. Oh yeah. Uh, if you've got stuff stuck in there. So that's a pretty neat little thing. This is the Panda Sense. So this is a chamber temperature and humidity sensor for the Panda Touch. Plugs into the back of the Panda Touch and it sits magnetically inside the chamber of your um, of your P1 series machines to give you that humidity and temperature sensing, similar to what the X1C is. This is the Panda Turbo, not released yet, so we've just got it on display here, but basically this magnetically mounts to the back of the machine where the exhaust port is, and then it gives you CPAP level cooling, and you can select if you want the air to come from outside or 
from inside, so it's just circulating chamber air, just using that lever over there. So that is the Panda Turbo coming soon. We also have collaborated with uh, Hugh Forge, and we're doing this tiny little cool TD1, now known as the TD1S. This is entered into sort of final beta stage testing now, and should be available in the next few weeks. So that is for Hugh Forge. It gives you your transmission distance. Very cool little product. You got the Panda Breeze over here. This gives you cross-flow cooling on the A1 series, much in the same way that you can get it on the P1 and X1 series. And what, yeah, what this will do is it mounts onto your A1 and then it blows across your print. So you just get that enhanced extra cooling. Mounts perfectly onto it. Beautiful little thing. It has a light built into it too. The light will follow the printer light. Yeah, so it provides illumination and extra cooling. And then we have Panda Power, which is pretty cool. So this is a Wi-Fi connected smart plug. Two USB ports on it. One of them is controllable. Uh, the other one is always on. So that can feed power to your Panda Touch. And what it does, is it allows you to turn your machine on and off just using a simple little button on your Panda Touch. So instead of reaching around and turning your machine on and off on the P1 series, you just tap a button on the touch screen, your machine's off. You tap the same button, your machine's back on. All done with this little guy over here. There's a controllable USB port that you can use to power an LED strip or even an indicator light, you know. You can make it such that it turns the light on when the machine is printing and off when the machine is done. So you know if it's still busy. Yeah, you can set this to turn the machine off when the print is done and the hot end temperature drops below 50 degrees Celsius. So it's safe to turn off. It'll automatically turn it off so it's not just sitting on the power network drawing So power, power consumption. Yeah, it gives you full readings of, of your voltage, your power, your amperage. So you know how much power each print is consuming. Panda Claw is the um, little extruder gear upgrade for the bamboo series. So that is hardened tool steel on the extruder gear. It's been nano, nano coated, so it does look golden, but it's actually hardened tool steel. And this is a brass spur gear that I, I have in my hand there. Yeah, and that would go onto the A1 or the P1 series, one for each. Yeah, that's a beautiful upgrade to make your machine super robust and hardened against those abrasive fillers. This is the cool little thing, enhanced cooling. So we're cooling from all directions. The jet pack, lightweight as well. And it also just looks cool, let's be honest. Like yeah. sometimes it's just cool to be able to do something to your machine that just looks different, you know, stand out. So yeah, that's modify the, jet pack. the printer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like there, there's people who don't want to do it, but there's people who do, you know, and, and you got to cater to all the different ranges and, and likes out there. The Panda Revo is very cool. So it brings that Revo quick change functionality to the, um, the the bamboo series of printers. So, you know, instead of having to undo plugs and I've, I've ripped stuff off my board before when I've tried to take plugs out and had to replace the board. Now you don't have to worry about that because to, to change out the hot end, even if you get a clog, is literally just a matter of unscrewing the nozzle, popping it out and then screwing the new nozzle back in and then it's done. Yeah. No more messing with connectors and it's half flow as well. So you get far more flow out of it than your stock uh, bamboo hot end. Panda Lux is not here. But it is one of the coolest upgrades that we do and one of the most cost effective. If you come over here, you'll see what I mean. You can definitely see the lighting in here is better than stock, right? You can see what's going on in there. And that's because of this. Little magnetic bar plugs into the stock plug. Super easy to install. Look, I'll show you how easy to install it is. You just do this and it's it. And that's, that's so the panel light. And you get that much more light. So you can actually see what's going on on your print. And you can see the crossbar is still going at it. It's at a crazy angle now. So yeah, those are some of our bamboo series. It is a really, really cool range that we that we're we're working on. We have some really cool stuff coming to. We're really excited about. Uh, 2025 is going to be a cool year for for these products. And uh, uh, honorary mention is this, which is our new filament PLAHR. It stands for PLA High Resilience, and uh, it does. Basketballs like no other, like super, super cool basketballs. And uh, yeah, I think Uncle Jesse, Clayton's done a video on it. Mark, Teaching Tech, did a video on it. So wow. PLAHR, very, very cool filament too. So where can people go and find these amazing materials? If you want to find these cool products and this great material, you can go to BQ.equipment. That is B-I-Q-U.equipment. And everything will be there, yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Like this video.